got to hand it to architects. Just when it looks like the building industry is getting hammered by the credit crunch, they go and design something so new, so groundbreaking, and so, well, moving, the prototype gets snapped up. This is the plan for buildings which are going to be built in Dubai and Moscow, and they're going to move. Each floor can rotate independently. The Dubai Tower is expected to open in two years' time. It'll be 80 storeys high and have offices, apartments and a hotel inside it. And the inhabitants of the 10 private villas at the top will be able to control how and when their floors rotate, although the movement of the other floors will be dictated by the designers. I must say, though, I always quite like the buildings I'm in to stay still and secure. But who am I to question Dr David Fisher, the architect of the buildings? First of all, they are the first building that rotates, that moves, that changes the shape. This building never looked the same, not one in a lifetime. Uh, I call these buildings designed by time, shaped by life. I started to face this project knowing that skyscrapers suffer a lot from the wind, and I say, why don't we use the wind? Why don't we use nature for our benefit instead of fighting nature? Let's use the wind. So I decided to put the wind turbines, the same that we know in the fields, vertically, a bit smaller and put them between the floors horizontally. So if I have 80-story building, I have 79 wind turbines. The building is completely powered by wind. So couldn't be more green than this. Environmentally friendly, maybe, but these aren't just for anyone to buy. They're expected to be priced at thousands of US dollars per square foot. So millionaires will be able to ask, seriously, darling, did the earth move for you? Thank you.